This fabric was gifted to me by Fabric Mart. Link in the description. Hello! This is exciting. So I have been marveling at the work of Official Hambly and Tueta Matoshi. I'll link both of their Instagram accounts down below. I've been marveling over their work for over a year now, as well as I'm sure like half the internet at this point because it's just they're kind of amazing. Their high femme princess style dresses have been something that I have wanted and so today we're gonna make one because why not? I found this blushy rose gold color fabric on Fabric Mart and I instantly knew what it was going to be. So I requested 10 yards and we used all 10 yards. It's the skirt. The skirt's what took up all the yardage. I'm going to say I'm not going for anything directly inspired by the two designers that I have mentioned. I'm going for more of a fantasy princess dress. So I want something that would fit into like Lord of the Rings, Elish stuff, and Guinevere from Merlin, and these medieval fantasy paintings that I see everywhere in reenactors households but don't actually know where they came from. When I was looking for the reference photos, I found out they were painted by Edmund Blair Leighton and oh my heavens, I want to recreate some of these paintings. So incorporating all of that and the details that I loved from all of them, I um, got to work. I knew I wanted the lines to be clean and simple so that way the simplicity of the dress would be what stood out. Like I said before, the wow factor of this dress is really going to be that skirt and it was very intentional on my part. And the sleeves. I have big plans for these sleeves. Because all of that, I opted for a simple bodice because I didn't want it to detract from the design. I just wanted it to work with it. So I did a bodice with two bust darts, you know, like I do for most of my dresses because that just seems to be the easiest bodice to do. The fabric has a slight stretch to it, so I flatlined it with some cotton broadcloth that I had in my stash. I also did a rough cut shape for the neckline. I knew what I wanted it to look like, I just didn't know exactly what I wanted. I'll figure that out later. Okay, so this is the bodice. I'm actually really happy with the cut of this neckline. If anything, I might make this more shallow later. We'll see. Um, I need to try it on first, but I'll, the neckline's gonna be like one of the last things finished. Next, the sleeves. I said earlier that I wanted the sleeves to be a big and dramatic and romantic. So I wanted big puffy sleeves, cause you guys know me, I can't live without a puff sleeve. So I'm doing the sleeves in two parts, an upper puffy sleeve and a lower split sleeve. I have the upper sleeves right here, the gathering is in, they're sewn in the tubular shape, the lower sleeves are somewhere else, um, but I'm gonna get these upper sleeves on. It might make more sense to like actually finish the sleeves and then attach them and then I can attach the bodice to the skirt and then I'll be done for the day. Yep, we're gonna do it in that order. I finished the lower sleeve with a quarter inch rolled hem. I did consider putting a lining on the lower sleeve to add just like a little baby contrast between a solid and a pattern. One, I couldn't find the lining fabric in time and I was just breezing through this and two, I think it would have added a weight to the sleeves which would have made them less flowy in return and so I'm actually kind of glad I couldn't find that fabric. Okay, so I have the upper and lower sleeves pinned together. Um, I kind of just like pleated the upper sleeve to match the lower sleeve. Um, mostly because I'm too lazy to gather right now. But that's where we're gonna go. I'm going to um, what am I gonna do? Sew, and then serge the edge for a nice finish, and then I will probably fold down the seam allowance to the lower sleeve to make the casing for the elastic. Yep, that sounds like a plan. After the sleeves were assembled, I pinned and sewed them onto the bodice. So that way we can move on to the skirt. I got all sorts of stupid amounts of giddy when I put this on my form. It was exactly what I wanted. So my camera died and I just kept working because that's what I do when I get excited. And the dress is ready for finishing work, which means that like 
the facing on the neck, the zipper, and then the hem. Um, you guys ready for this? Oh my heavens. Of course you're not getting like the whole magnitude because like, whatever, like the train, the train. Oh! But like, look at this. It's gonna look so pretty and so elegant. I was so excited I convinced the husband to pin me into the dress. I'm not gonna lie, I almost cried during this first try on. I know the skirt is too long for me, but I'm gonna have to um, get the zipper in and try it on before I really know exactly how much I need to trim it up in the front. I'm not gonna trim it on the sides or at the train at all because it's a princess dress and I am going to float float when I wear this. It's going to be spectacular. So I'm using my new form Claire and I realized that her shoulders are more sloped than mine which I didn't know when I started fitting the dress. So I sloped the shoulders on the dress too much so now I've got to like fix that but it also like I don't know. Now I know what the problems are for next time. The point of this is, it's a mess right now, I need to let some out of the sides so I have more room so I don't accidentally break my zipper is what this all comes down to. All in all, it took about 30 minutes to do all of the alterations, but they were worth it. I mean, without them, this bodice would have not fit the way that it fits. And fit is very important. I just finished all, all of the alterations and I think... If the math is right, it gave me almost another inch. So, hopefully this will work. Putting in zippers always takes a minute, especially invisible ones. You need to press the teeth out, baste them in, final sew them, hope the waist seam lines up, because I've never actually figured out how to do that, like, perfectly on the first try. Just never, not a thing. But they're worth it, and so that's why I keep using them. Guys, this fits so well. And this train is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. The only thing is I'm thinking about lowering the neckline maybe just an inch. Um, just to give myself some more room for jewelry. That's what I'm thinking. But other than that, it fits perfect. This is like the best made bodice I have made in forever and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I just did a single fold bias tape for the neckline. So it's a really nice clean finish. I'm gonna give the neckline a good press and then moving on to the hem and then the dress will be done. Oh, I'm gonna like go run through a field and take slow motion video. Like you just wait, this is gonna be a thing. So I have the skirt like all laid out. I think right about there is where I need to chop. Um, but I'm going to like taper it down like that so I don't take anything off of the sides and definitely not anything off the train. Alright, so you can see how much I've trimmed off and how it just kind of tapered as we got to the side. I'm going to try this on real quick and make sure that I like the length. Um, and then I'll hem it. When I was trying on the dress, that hem, especially on the train, was like folding and pulling in, which made me think that I needed to add some sort of structure to the hem. I didn't want to reduce any of the flowiness by adding like something really thick or padded there, but I knew that it needed some structure. So to hem the dress, I used a half inch horsehair braid and just put that around the entire hem. And this actually, was like the perfect move. Okay, so reveal footage time. When I say that I feel like a princess in this dress, I am not lying. As I have shared pr pictures of the making process of this dress with various friends, they have labeled it like the a live action Briar Rose dress of dreams, the um, cottage core princess, what else? I don't remember, but there's been lots of squealing, like a lot. Alright, before any of you ask, I already know this is going to be a question in the comments. 
If you would like this pattern specifically for this dress, link down in the description. I'm not waiting until another um, seasonal line. It's just available right now. Go get it. Enjoy. I will see you guys on Monday for a new video and live on Thursday. Bye friends!